Hi, it's Dave here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a lofty IKEA organizer storage unit bed. I used 42 inch cabinets instead of the standard 30s that everyone else seems to be using solely for the purpose that I have a teenage girl who has a lot of stuff. That being said, you will want to Google who sells recycled, reused materials in your neighborhood. This will save you a ton of money on your project. And let's face it, recycling is just a good idea. Now, I've compiled a list of materials for you here, but of course, that's going to vary as to whether or not you find the exact same size and dimension of cabinets that I found. Be sure to pay attention to the red liner notes here so you don't make extra trips to the hardware store. In this diagram, you'll see how I laid the floor plan out for the cabinets and the bed frame. Notice that I have a 21 inch door opening here. We chose to just hang a curtain. However, you can maybe put a dummy cabinet there with the back removed or build yourself a hide door So getting started, I just assembled all my cabinets into the room and laid them out in the floor plan. Then you'll want to secure the cabinets together. I used a clamp and three inch screws. Then I used a countersink drill bit. This along with a pilot hole will keep your wood from splitting when you go to sink your screw. Now I'm drilling the pilot hole after I do the bevel. Then I insert the screw into each hole. I used three screws for a 42 inch cabinet. It's always a good idea before performing this maneuver that you hold the screw up to the material that you're going through to ensure that the length of the screw is proper. You don't want it coming out the other side. So after we get all three screws installed, you'll see that the two cabinets are joined together and secure. Now, next we're going to move over to our next 42 inch cabinet, which joins together with the Trofast organizer that also acts as the staircase. I'd like to uh, recognize how important it is here for things to be level and true and plumb. Uh, if you don't have things level, true and plumb, when you go to build the interior part of the bed frame to the wall, you will find it's all jacked up. So doing so, we used a shim on the floor to shim the cabinets to true level and plumb before securing them together. It is so much easier to level and plumb cabinets than it is walls. So paying attention to this now will make your framing stages much easier. And that's what we're moving to next. In doing so, you will want to measure up from the floor to your desired height of where you would like your bed frame. Next, you will want to determine where the studs are and mark the corresponding spots onto your 2x4. And I also like to pre-start my screws so that they're secured in place when I begin to fasten the 2x4 to the wall. I chose to make the mattress and the top of the cabinet flush. So I measured the distance in between and that determined where my bed framing would go. I drew a line on the wall with a level and then secured my 2x4 in place. Next, I move to the corresponding wall, repeat the same procedures, and secure that 2x4 into place. Once I get all four sides of my frame built, then I can concentrate on installing the slats. I used six 2x4s at 12 inch intervals and secured it with three inch screws, toenailing them into place and making sure that they are secure. Next, I install my three quarter inch MDF board. I used construction adhesive to secure this in place so that I wouldn't have screw holes exposed on the top of my cabinets. And now that that's secured in place, I prime and paint the tops of the MDF board. Next, I install a set of rope lights on the underneath. And finishing up the project, I glue low pile carpet to the stair treads. And that completes my DIY bed project. In total, I had about two and a half days labor on the project and a cost of $240, roughly, give or take. I did have some of my materials on hand. This was a relatively easy project, offers great storage options, saves cabinets from being in a landfill, and of course, saves you money. I hope you enjoyed doing your own project. Thanks for watching.